Welcome back to another episode of Fishing for Real. I'm your host, Ken. Today I'm out on the scenic Center Hill Lake at Edgar Evans State Park. I'm going to try my hand just with some artificials today. I got some uh, gulp of live crickets and some uh, little minnows and artificial worms, maybe even a crankbait or two. I'm going to see what I can find. The water here is pretty deep, so let's go see what I can find. Come along. Out here on the shore of Center Hill Lake, Middle Tennessee. And I'm going to try one of these gulp alive crickets. The water's deep here. Let's just start out maybe about two and a half, three feet deep. See what happens. All right, guys, I've got a bigger float on here now. Help it be seen by the camera. Got a lead split shot here in one of these earth friendly, I think it's 10 split shot. You know, it's a great idea and all that, but the tin is so hard it uh, it doesn't crimp on the line it just slides so you got to put something like a lead weight underneath it let's cast out and see if there's any fish in this joint nope oh, look at there got a bite dog it something at least will bite the cricket how about that back out there come on fella and today I decided to leave the worms at home gonna go all artificial I don't know if these crickets are the ticket or not a situation like this is where one of those uh, depth finders that are on a big bobber that you can cast out and look at on your phone to see how deep the water is those things could be pretty sweet in a situation like this where you want to know how deep it is and even see if there's some fish out there you know I'm sure there's fish out here it's just how deep are they I don't know just a bite would restore my confidence and the possibility of there being fish here. Center Hill has real nice big bluegill on it. Or in it. Just a matter of finding them. As a confidence bait, I'm going to try this honeyworm. The uh, power bait. And the white color. Has always been very successful very productive for me and I'm just about gonna bet if there's a brim out there and he sees this he'll hit it if I don't get hit with this I don't think there's anything out there Let's try a little further out now. With this power bait, the white power bait, any kind of power bait. Like I said earlier, they don't have any action of their own with the waves like they are here. Certainly they're going to be bouncing up and down a little bit. Sometimes I've gotten better luck out of them by moving them just a little bit. You know, pull them in a foot or six, eight inches just to pick that honey work up and let it drop back down. Pick it up and let it drop back down. And on that drop, you know, the fish see it and they'll strike it. I'm beginning to believe there's not a lot of fish life right here. You know, I've got a hit or two here. I know I have. 
you know, it just could be that there's a bunch of little fish here and they're just not big enough to get my larger baits in. Could be the, t the reason. And as I said, I switched to a bigger float so it might show up on the camera better. I'm a big fan of using the, the least amount of float that you can for the job. You know, I know it's good to see, but I usually go pretty finesse with my floats just so that it's easy for the fish to pull underwater and not have any resistance. If they feel resistance, a lot of times, especially if they're in a pressured lake, they'll let go. <clears throat> oh. Come on, fish. Let's go now. <clears throat> I'm starting to wonder what a fish looks like. Anybody else with me on that? All right, guys. Last ditch effort in this spot here is the little power wiggler. In a pseudo white color. It's supposed to be white, but it's more of a pearl color. Just toss it out to a tiny little thing, so if it's a tiny little fish, there's tiny little fish in here by Georgia, I ought to be able to find them. Need somebody to eat my bait so I can see what I'm fooling with over here. there far enough. So a little minnow jump there. Come on folks. Come on. Come on fish, let's go. Bite me. That gummit. Something took that under. I know it did. There he is. Bye, George. I'm going to find out what this is now. Finally, somebody hit this dadgum power bait or wiggler. And there he is. What's this, a bluegill? Plain, ordinary old bluegill? Yep. All right, guys. There he is. There's what I've been after. Only a whole lot smaller than what I really want to be after. Just a plain old ordinary bluegill. So I think that's what's down there. And that ain't what I'm after. Thank you guys. Thank you for at least biting me. Uh, as they say, I got the skunk off. What much of a skunk off. So I've caught smaller. There's no doubt about that. Mm -hmm. I'll try over here just a wee bit. Over to this side a little.
going to stow the power wiggler. For right now, it's not, not, not happening. Hey folks, thanks for joining me today on another episode of Fishing for Real. Down here at Center Hill Lake, Edgar Edmonds State Park. It was a tough day. A lot of boat traffic, a lot of waves. Caught one little bluegill and that was it. But I tried. Today's episode got cut short due to uh, rain and lightning. Lightning bad on the water near big trees. Thanks for joining me. I hope you got something out of this. If you would, hit the like button. Subscribe if you would. Look forward to seeing you again on another episode. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.